Hey, hello again. Um, we're going to go, as promised in the last video, um, and show you a little bit more about what's happening when your hair is damaged. You need to see, you know, from under a microscope, what the hair looks like. Again, understanding, uh, if you watch the first video, that the hair is mainly composed of a keratin and also several other amino acids that, that you know, make it healthy, make it strong, make it shine, and make the hair what it is. Uh, the problem is, as we mentioned before, most of those acids that are needed are essential amino acids. Those amino acids, essential amino acids, are not readily produced by the body, so we have to ingest them in dietary forms. And so what we've done is taken a, uh, a different approach by adding those missing amino acids into a treatment that can be applied externally to the hair. And what happens there is you totally regenerate the hair because that amino acid structure has been broken down from color, from relaxers, from daily wear and tear. Um, the amino structure is absent um, of, of the, the aminos that it needs to create the proteins that your hair in turn needs in order to be healthy. So, and, it, and I'm going to give you uh, some pictures and some slides and I'm going to allow you to read um, and see what's happening in each slide and you'll begin to understand a little bit more about the amino acid therapy treatment and why we feel like it and by far surpasses the keratin treatment and again the main reason is because it supplies the hair with more than keratin. Um, although keratin makes up the main uh, part of the hair, there are many more amino acids that are super important to maintaining healthy hair that are again, you know, usually depleted because of things that we're doing to the hair. So, not only are we supplying the hair with these amino acids, but we're also supplying it with a certain layer of fat that helps to maintain the moisture and flexibility as well. That's also very important, particularly down in that endocuticle or that second layer of hair uh, or above that second layer of hair right before you enter into the cortex. You have a very soft polypeptide bond in that area, which is a lot of times where those amino acids are, are doing what they need to do. And also the area where they are most important and yet not present. So that's what the amino acid treatment is about uh, helping the hair to have the essential amino acids that it needs to be healthy and strong and also uh, rebuild the structure because again as we mentioned before uh, amino acids are key because you can't produce protein without amino acid and the hair and the body itself is predominantly protein so once we apply these amino acids, you then have um, an instant uh, revival or, or reanimation of dead, lifeless hair because you're putting back into the hair what's been taken out by other processes and procedures. So it's almost like you just instantly beautiful hair all over again. So put some slides up. Um, along with some subtitles and information that you can read for yourself and maybe I'll even throw in a little background music for you uh, and hopefully you will leave confidently knowing a little bit more detail about why amino acid instead of keratin okay thanks for coming back and enjoy the slides and I'll see you in a moment
for me, walk 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 for me,